Hey guys, another NHL time? It's Son of Beast here, and we are back for our number one. And the next matchup we are looking at is St. Louis Blues and Minnesota Wilds. If you already have seen the games here at Target Field, and you already have known that's what the game is all about here on New Year's Day, that already happened this year of 2022, but now it's already just about to change things up a bit. It's time to meet them again. They already done this before, so why don't they do this one again? Well, it's just a bigger, uh, bigger exclamation about this. Not too much to say about it, but that's all it had. It has changed since we haven't done anything lately here before. We have is Ryan O'Reilly, then David Perron, Pavel uh, Bunchnevich, and on the other side we have is the Wilds of Kirill Kaprizov. Jared Spurgeon and Joel Erickson Eck. I don't know what that name comes from. This is like a this is like a weird name. Well, that's more what we have here, but that's enough to uh, see what they have gotten here in totally this one. Let's bring you over to the eighth um, Excel Center of the arena. Time to show the game what it is about. We have one captains on each of the teams and two all-star pros trying to make their way through. Back to EA Sports coverage of this Central Division showdown. James Sabalski brings her all for the Blues. Here is the officials made his way to center ice and we are ready to get things underway. Let's get started, folks. St. Louis goal, his first goal of this game. Brad Sat. No eyes called on St. Louis yet. From the right side, they gain the zone. And he totally missed on that one. The Wild have taken position along the wall. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. But some open space at center. Spurgeon's going to play the puck behind the cage. Minnesota's on the attack. Shots going up and down already. We gotta keep an eye on them.
And now he tries to get it across to Drew. Sends a pass over. Quick pass to Bushnevich. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. He reacts late, but he makes a save through travel. They fight for it along the ball lines. And he regains control of the puck. Nice front start. Look at the wrist of that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the whole front. He doesn't have much time to think about it. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And that is the Minnesota Wilds. His first goal of the season. Brad Strowman. Nick Strowman. Sorry about that. I was just going to make the mistakes. I don't know how to pronounce it, right? But that's all there is. Time of the goal, 12.40 seconds to go here in the first period. Only three, five out, five shots for Minnesota. And, and, and seven shots on St. Louis, the blue.
Turns to be offside on St. Louis. A lot of plays out there. No lead changes. Oh, somebody's online already. Sorry, can't help. Too much time, and that's the end of a period. Here tonight, we've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. One one score, we'll be right back. Here we go, second period at the XL Energy Center. And we're about set to drop the We're ready to drop it. Uh, 
Dallas, Minnesota Wild goals. Dallas first goal of the season. Score by number nine, by number twenty-five, uh, Broden. His assist. Jackson. Hey. Time of the goal, 17.45 to go. Second period, 2-1 and a score. 12 shots on Minnesota Wilds and 16 shots on St. Louis. St. Louis Valley, Paul Bogovich, two minutes for interference. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your power play. Meetings in the morning, you look at video of the penalty killers, you try to establish what their tendencies are going to be. Push the penalty killers into some place they're not comfortable. Gets it out of his own hand.
Trying to get out already from the wild. Frozen over there, just trying to like get out of here. Both teams are set, they're ready to drop the puck. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Knocked away in the offensive zone. His reflex is on display tonight. Slaughtered away with the stick in the defensive zone. Pass to Bushnevich, and a great heads up defensive play here. Slides it quickly to Barbashev. And now he moves it to Shen. And that's picked off at the defensive end. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall.
pricing. St. Louis penalty, David Perron, two minutes for holding. And uh, the power play is off. Number 36, Brad Zuccarello. Dominic goals, one for ten remaining in the second period. 22 for Minnesota and, and 17 for St. Louis. Last minute left in the second period. You get that. St. Louis just might have changed the coach's conversation between periods as we approach that intermission. Well, I'm sure he's going to be a lot happier. They've got a chance. St. Louis goal is her goal of the season. Jordan Cover. Assisted by um, Jomstrup. Bernovich. Time to goal. 12 6. Sorry. Nine seconds remaining in the second period. We end the second period. It's three two. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Last quarter period remaining. It's three two. We got a last one to get this thing on the board. And here we go. Oh, it took too long with that. And that's just out of reach. 
The Blues gain control of the puck. Quick pass to Shen. And that's broken up. Handles the puck at the point. Puts it on the net. Denied by the goaltender. Picked up along the boards by Duhane. Moves it to Merrill. Takes the pass. We got a tie game. It's Jordan Carlos. St. Louis has answered with a huge third period goal to even things up here. Now you're back to square. You've got St. Louis goal, his second goal of the season. Jordan Carlos. Time of the goal, 14 minutes. Tied up now. In the third period. He's going to leave the blue paint to come play the puck. Some coaches get nervous for this. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Moves around along the half wall. Grabbed along the board by Pittman. Takes the feed. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Thomas quick on the draw. Taken along the wall by Crew. And now he angles it across to Tarasenko. From the right side, they gain the zone. Cuts to the paint. How did he stop that one? Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Just line. Here's a chance. Oh, and it stays out. I think he made a close save on that one. Takes the feet at the back end. This shift is never going to end. They keep the pressure on. Oh, and that's got the crowd busting after that stop. And now he tries to get it across to Neal. Slides the puck ahead to go. Couldn't connect, although not exactly. Slips it through, that's going to be a lot of it. Nine minutes here. This is when the coaches find out who's able to be trusted in a tight game. This one is not spread out yet, and this is going to go right down to the end of the wire. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck 
Breaching down, two minutes, uh, six minutes left. And that's not the side of the stick by Cutter. Oh, just a great heads up play by Scandella. Cuts to the front, denied by Tuckerman. So it saves a little difficult than others. This one right from the squad is turned aside. Quick possession along the wall. And now it's over to Addison. And the puck pops out of the offense, and so they'll be forced to regroup. Takes the feed, moving in. Centering pass in front. Puck grab by Bennington. In front of him, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Here in the late goings of the period, and it's all tied up. St. Louis wins the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Bushnevich. Moves the puck along the half wall. Pareto swooping in on the attack. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Oh, and a great hits up play to the turnover by Bushnevich. Quick pass to Shen. Oh, just save by Trakinen. I think through traffic like that, you just hope when the thing hits you. Kulikov's got the puck. With the blast! What a save by Bennington! The Wild have possession along the boards. A shot! Oh, and it stays out with the toe save! Three minutes to go. on Minnesota and Wilds. Officials are in position and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. O'Reilly's one possession. St. Louis gains the zone. Move to the middle. Just can't complete that pass. Oh, he's got the right play in mind. He just doesn't execute the final pass. From the slot, fires away. Last minute of the first period. This could be an overtime for them. Oh, how did he miss that? This game's getting close to the finish line for regulation.
Regulation is over. We're going to overtime. First time to get started here on overtime in season number one. Here we go. Folks, with that play, the Ordi de Mascot and the Wilds win overtime before the clock comes down to zero in overtime before it went to a shootout. I mean, this is like an incredible game this turned out. The first overtime game. Expecting to see that one coming. Nothing like that before. Let's check out the game stars. Number three, we have is Joel Erickson Eck, with only two assists in this one, with a great help from the other guy as well. Number two star is Matt Dumba, one goal and the overtime winner. He saved it and he had it all. And number one star, this is all on Jordan Cohn. Two goals and two hits. Well, expect that. It's a lot harder what he did. Pop of the screen? Yeah, that was the play that you have seen. 56 on Minnesota, 37 on St. Louis here for total shots, 10 hits and five shot, five hits for Minnesota. Time on attack, a little bit off quite the range here between seven, um, trailing, trailing the time by seven. 94% for St. Louis and 75% on Minnesota. 22 wins on St. Louis. That's too many with over Minnesota's part of three. And four minutes here was putting some penalty minutes here for St. Louis. And power play turned out to be Minnesota. 308, Minnesota. And shorthand goals, nothing. So without being upset here, if you all have to stay tuned for the next one, we might be heading off to the next game here if we can find a better matchup, better one than near you. So, with that being said, peace out everyone. For us a while as the NHL 22 dial. And we'll keep you on with the next game that we have. Until next time, peace out folks.